Since the debut of the iPad, tablet screens have had a size cap of about 10 inches. Now with the release of the Toshiba Excite 13, Toshiba has blown away any size cap expectations and then some. Hi, I'm Eric Franklin and today I'll take a first look at the Toshiba Excite 13, the world's first, as far as I know, 13 inch tablet. If you're familiar at all with the Excite 10, then you know almost exactly what you're getting, except on a larger scale. You still get the 128 gigabyte SD card expansion slot, micro USB, micro HDMI, a headphone jack, and a rotation lock switch. The tablet has a textured metal backside and maybe by nature of its size, doesn't feel quite as bendy as the Excite 10. But I still notice some build quality issues. The tablet weighs about 2.2 pounds and is a full 13.5 inches wide. This makes typing while holding the tablet pretty much impossible unless you possess some kind of fantastic finger stretching ability. Also, 13 inches means more inches to clean. I mean, look how smudgy this thing gets. There is a two megapixel camera on the front and a LED flash supported five megapixel camera on the back, both of which produce typically mediocre tablet quality video and images. The screen resolution has been upgraded from the Excite 10 from 1280 by 800 to 1600 by 900 and it feels responsive when swiping and navigating menus. The tablet houses a Tiger 3 CPU and with our go-to game Riptide GP, it ran pretty smoothly on it with the expected Tegra 3 splashing effects. 1080p movies from outside sources ran smoothly and looked sharp. And I have to admit, watching movies on a larger, higher resolution screen will always be the preferred method. Prices start at $650 for the 32 gigabyte version and $750 for the 64 gigabyte version. While movies look great on a larger screen, at these prices, you'd be better off buying an actual HD TV if movies are that important to you. Bottom line, yes, this is a larger tablet, but it really doesn't offer anything new to the tablet experience. And at 650 to 750 bucks, at that price, you really have to question whether it's worth it for something that feels kind of like a gimmick. Once again, I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been the first look at the Toshiba Excite 13.